some of the best Fashion Week looks and how to recreate them, a quick update on my red light mask, few accessories that I recently bought, and can we talk about the powerhouse that is Beth Ann Hardison? Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shakura and I believe that when you feel good, you look good. So on this channel, I show you how to take fashion and use it as a tool to help you look and feel your best. So February has so many things going on. It's Valentine's Day, which we spoke about in the last video. If you're a sports fan, there's a Super Bowl. It's Black History Month and it is also the start of Fashion Month. So Fashion Week starts the ninth here in New York, but before we get into all that, I feel like I wanted to go and look at some past Fashion Weeks and some of the best looks, not a lot of them, but a few of the best looks and see how we can recreate them. I do kind of want to make a few things clear. I know that when we are looking at Fashion Week looks at all, or some of the looks really look kind of outlandish and kind of for lack of a better word, crazy, right? So a lot of times when folks are dressing up to go to Fashion Week, it is not to just look nice, it is to stand out. Particularly for influencers, Will, whether you want them there or not, they are there to get photographed in order for them to get press. The more press you have, the more it solidifies your spot in the fashion world. Those folks that already have their spot in the fashion world, it is really still about getting press and being around your fashion peers and sticking out. It's an art form for many, many people. So I know a lot of times when we're looking at some of these outfits, we're like, who would wear that and why are they? <laughs> we spoke about some trends in this video for this year. And one of the things that we spoke about was leopard print. So I'm actually very much into the leopard print, always have been, but right now, because it's more in the forefront, I have really been looking at it more and more and really been enjoying it. I've come across some beautiful creators and some, and some influencers that have really nailed this look. Whether it's a blazer or it's a pair of pants, it is really a statement, but can also be a neutral. So when I found this outfit, I knew that I had to try to recreate that and maybe offer some options for your debt, right? The thing that sticks out to me besides the leopard print is that she's not only using leopard print, she's also using snakeskin in her shoes. And I realized that that can be quite overwhelming. In fact, I'm not sure if I would even try to pull that off simply because um, it's a lot, right? I feel like she does an absolutely fantastic job. Again, this was also Fashion Week. I do feel like you have to have a specific style and let's be honest, a specific type of swag, <laughs> right? To pull this off. So if you want something that is very similar to this dress, I found this one from AFRM, a firm or AFRM. And this actually goes up to a size three X. It is a bit longer than this dress, but it would definitely get the job done. I also would like to offer another way to style this if you feel like this is too much, right? So try just a regular black blazer over this. It could have strong shoulders. It could be linen, whatever you like. And that will kind of break up that leopard and make it more palatable for a lot of people, right? So if you're interested in leopard, but this seems like a lot and very aggressive, try to add a blazer. This one from Reformation gives you some leeway when it comes to, um, for me anyway, when it comes to my stomach, which is totally my problem area, that little ruffle would really help <laughs> that fupa if you will. <laughs> it's a very frilly, very girly dress. Love the sleeve details on this dress from Neiman Marcus. This one from Betsy Johnson is a classic wrap dress and definitely makes it easier or makes leopard print easier to wear. If you are really not into any dresses like touching you or hugging you, this Tory Burch shirt dress is a very loose structure and can be styled very easily and it definitely gives that level of comfort um, as it pertains to showing your body. So if you are that person that feels like they can pull off two animal prints, first of all, kudos to you. I'm not that cool. Let me give you some options if you don't already have hair in your closet. This is the pair I would probably go with because I love Paris, Texas. I've been really into a thicker lower heel because, you know, 
elder millennial <laughs> and my feet hurt. These from Dulce Vida have a shorter heel and they are much cheaper. And if you wanna go ahead and spend a little more money, these from Kate will give you a very similar look. I also kind of want to encourage you to maybe try to use leopard as a neutral if you don't already. If you think about it, the colors in leopard print are already neutral, brown, black, and beige. And we know those are neutral colors. They're just all in one print. And I understand why some people would be intimidated to use it as a neutral because it is, it's an intimidating print, right? And it's kind of supposed to be, I mean, it's leopard. But if you are bold enough to try to use it um, as a neutral, pairing it with color like red, everyone loves leopard and red, leopard and green like this lady did, I feel like is a fantastic option. I don't know what's under her coat, but the boots and the bag really stand out against that neutral leopard. Zendaya said, just put me all in leopard print from head to toe. And I think, I really feel like she's killing it. And then I found this very cool blazer from Eloquy that if you don't wanna do too much, you can wear this with a pair of black jeans or a skirt, but you have a little leopard and a little bit of extraness in your outfit. Though this is actually not leopard at all. <laughs> this is actually snakeskin. I found this whole outfit on the outnet and I feel like if you have that personality and you have that swag, wearing these together will be amazing. And then if you notice in her hand, she also has a bag. It's leopard and black, but she just went all in. She just went all in with the animal print. And I feel like she looks amazing, especially for fashion week. Like I said earlier, a lot of Fashion Week looks are used to get attention, to get press. You wanna get pictures taken of you. So you're gonna see a lot of outfits that you might think are crazy, but are using juxtaposition to go for a wow factor. For example, this beautiful mint green number is just very feminine. And if you look at it from the top, you would think that it would be paired with a pair of nice dainty shoes or some beautiful dainty boots, some high, you know, some knee high boots or something. Um, but instead she chose to go with this chunky pair of boots. Now, while you might think that it looks ridiculous, it does offer interest to this outfit, which did get her photographed. Or even something like this, which is just so flowy and beautiful and feminine and girly and dressy, right? She even has this beautiful Dior purse with it. And you would imagine that this would be worn with something more dressy. She juxtaposed this dressy, beautiful, feminine gown kind of, right? With a pair of denim and some sneakers. Sometimes putting together an outfit, a wow outfit, requires you to kind of go against I don't want to go, I don't want to say go against your, your gut, but to do something that would be a bit different, right? When I saw this, this beautiful gown, I would never have thought to put it with jeans and sneakers. While you might not want to wear it, it works because of the juxtaposition. And again, it got her photographed. So in that same vein, someone like Grace, like I, I, I talk about her often because I love a woman who is mature and still doing her thing. She paired this seemingly masculine um, blazer, I believe it was leather, masculine blazer with this beautiful floor length satin dress, which can be seen as dressy, right? She added a gorgeous silver Bottega bag. I believe this scarf is acne. The white sunglasses give her a bit of a cool factor, but everything goes together seamlessly, but doesn't feel like it initially, right? We all know that long skirts are very trendy right now. We know that satin skirts are very trendy. And we also know that a bit of oversizedness <laughs> is also trendy. So she's very on trend. I love that she used uh, like the polar effect, right? Opposites to make this outfit just right, in my opinion. I love her, I adore her. We have completely different styles, but I love to see her work. I love to see her put an outfit together. So recreating this 
using your debt. It doesn't necessarily have to be this color. I do have a few dresses to show you, um, but keep in mind, if you already have a long satin skirt or dress, you can use your debt to make this happen, right? So ASOS, Revolve, and the Outnet all have options for long, beautiful, um, mint color strapless dresses. I believe the one in ASOS goes up to a 2X. And it's very possible that you already have a blazer. I believe hers is leather, but it can be just this color. I know I have three or four blazers this color, <laughs> right? Even if it's not the right cut, play with the cuts and see if it would work with what you have. But the Frankie Shop, Dish, and H&M all have options um, if you're looking for a different cut or what you have you're just not satisfied with. I will say that even though this is a very simple outfit, it packs a punch um, because of the proportions, the juxtaposition, and so much of it is the color. This is a beautiful color. And like I said, I feel like this is an acne um, scarf and you could 100% get that. Or you could try one from the Frangie Shop or Gigi Fit. And as far as the silver bag child, there are so many options at this point, and we know that from Coach, Steve Madden, Stowed, I mean, there are plenty of options. And even a dupe of the Bottega bag that you can get from many places in silver. The silver bag at this point is very easy to find. And as far as boots are concerned, you could try these from Kate, or these from Cause, or these from Revolve. Throw on your coolest pair of white sunglasses, and you will be twitting with Miss Grace. <laughs> chose this outfit because it is very similar to the color of the year which many people were kind of upset about I'm kind of eh, someplace in the middle this color is a little richer than the color of the year which is peach fuzz by the way but I still love it again it is cold it looks like this is a cold fashion week and her coat and her boots are the outfit. I actually showed you guys this coat in the last video in a fuchsia. It also comes with a color that is a bit softer and looks much more like the one that Janae is wearing. You can also just go get the coat that she is wearing, right? They do cost a bit of money, but you can find them on sale. If I find any on sale, I will link them below. But if that's too much, I feel like the Etsy one is a fabulous option. And if you don't like um, the shininess of the coat, you want something even less expensive, this of ASOS would do. And if you want something that's the same but different, <laughs> try this from Revolve. I absolutely love that she used more than one neutral. Well, the boots were, were more than one neutral, right? They're cream and black paired with this beautiful, bright color. A lot of times I feel like some people would just stick to black and white with these boots. You can literally wear whatever color you want because both colors are neutral. So I love that she put the pink with this. If you watch my Europe vlog, you saw that I wore these boots boots to the Usher concert, which I later regretted because my feet were killing me. <laughs> but I looked amazing, okay? I looked amazing. So if you bought those boots when I showed them, they will look amazing with one of these coats that I'm showing you. You can for sure replace these black and white boots with a pair of the snakeskin boots. It will give a very similar vibe. Now, while this vibe is very clean because of the line, it will be a bit different, but very, very similar. A black bag, it doesn't have to be Bottega, right? But any cute black bag will do. I told you guys before, this one from Anthropology is a great dupe for this bag and I'm actually looking to get the large one but yes this is an absolutely fantastic outfit As you are watching this, Fashion Week has already started and I cannot wait to see the looks that we might have to recreate later. Have you ever questioned why people dress the way they dress for Fashion Week? I would love to know what your thoughts are about that because I know a lot of people are really confused about why some of their favorites they feel look ridiculous during Fashion Week. Let me know your thoughts on that. So in this video, I showed you that I got a few gadgets and I wanted to update you on the red light mask. Now mind you, it's only been two weeks. That means I've only used it eight times. But I did say that I was going to update you every two weeks, even though I don't think it's enough. I haven't, I haven't compared pictures yet. <laughs> but here's the update. So, as you can see, I do have some discoloration, particularly by my jawline. That um, shadowing in my cheek is just my cheek shadow. That's not 
um, discoloration that's just I guess my natural contour <laughs> so that that never goes away but you do see that I need some texture I need to fix some texture and I do have some discoloration I did want to make sure that I got every angle so you can see as much as there is to see and yeah this is how we started two weeks I passed <laughs> and it's not much difference it's only been two weeks I don't see a big difference at all I don't see a difference even the slightest but like I said it's only been two weeks so hopefully it will get better from here but I did just want to update you there is however two things that I wanted to ask you about that is new out okay so this new fragrance from Achillean called Born to be Unforgettable has notes of lime, nutmeg, cinnamon, cedar, and vanilla. All of these things I usually love. But then I looked at it again and it said Coca-Cola as the top notes. And I don't know how I feel about that. i try to remember if I have a fragrance that has Coca-Cola as a top note. I don't know let me know if you smell that it's just weird to me I don't know let me know if you smell that and how you feel about it and then everywhere I turn on TikTok, someone is talking about this rare beauty fine comfort body and hair fragrance mist it seems to have very uplifting notes of lemon zest violet and cashmere wood um, and it seems comforting but I don't know if I need another body mist if you have smelled this let me know if it actually smells amazing and if I need it so I do have a very small accessories haul I did buy a few things that I want to show you I showed you them in a prior video and I bought them too <laughs> so I want to show you the things that I recently got so if you watched my past videos of my fashion finds you saw that I talked about this or these Tony Bianco shoes that are very much giving me Prada vibes. I think these are the chicest, just the prettiest little shoe, especially for spring. I'm so happy to have them. I love, first of all, that they are kitten heel. We all know that kitten heels are trending. I also keep saying that I adore the fact that my feet don't have to look good and sacrifice my comfort for style. And yeah, these are so, so beautiful. If you saw the Prada ones, you know that they are very similar. The biggest difference between these and the Prada is that it says, it has a big white Prada sign here, which if I'm being honest, I didn't love. And I wish that either the Prada was smaller to the side or I don't know, maybe in gold. So when I saw these, I was very happy. They are much cheaper, a very similar vibe, and just as chic. I wanted to show you how to wear these. Um, this video is very long, so I don't think I have time for all that. I did try them on with this blazer that I got from H&M, the one that I'm wearing in this video actually. Some straight leg jeans, these shoes, and a purse I'm gonna show you in a second. <laughs> because the heel is so small and so short, they are just extremely easy to wear. Again, I'm so happy that kitten heels are in. I've been loving these. In that same video, I was asking you if I should get the black ones or if I should get this color. <laughs> so I told you guys I might get both and I might not need both or I might not keep both honestly you guys could tell me which one you like better but I feel like both of these hold a place in my wardrobe especially for spring black is very sleek very sophisticated and this beautiful color is very flirty and fun and just perfect with like a, a white pair of jeans or a linen ah oh, a nice linen situation I will say though and maybe I'm wrong or I haven't figured out how to style them yet but for some reason, kitten heels with skirts, I am not loving. It's 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 making me feel very church lady, old church lady, and I grew up in the church, <laughs> so I know what that looks like, right? So the kitten heel and skirts, I haven't really figured that out yet, but with a pair of straight leg jeans or pants or even a pair of baggy pants, it's really modernizing that kitten heel, and I, I think that I am in love. I think these are very chic. I love them. I love both colors. If you had to send one back, 
which color would it be? Which one would you keep? So if you watched the vlog where you went shopping with me and I went to Nordstrom, I showed you this purse at Nordstrom in silver and I thought about it and I didn't buy it right away and I went home and I looked for it on Nordstrom. It was sold out, of course. So I went to go look at the website specifically for this beautiful purse for the Alexis Bitter um, website and lo and behold they had black the snakeskin and the silver on sale originally almost $700 but here and on sale it was $200 so my biggest concern was sh what color should I get I waited too long the snakeskin sold out so I said okay so I have between the silver and the black I waited too long again and the silver sold out so I said you know what I'm go ahead and buy this black <laughs> before things get crazy and I'm actually loving the fact that I got it in black. One of the bag trends that we're going to talk about later for 2024 and spring and summer are envelope clutches and this is a beautiful rendition of that. I love that it's asymmetrical. This is actually gold plated I believe. Absolutely stunning. This is leather. It is really giving early 2000 vibes. Samantha Jones or Joan Clayton wearing something like this. Specifically, Samantha Jones I see wearing this because her style was a little, um, a little more sharp than Joan in my opinion. Not sharp in a good way, but sharp as an ang angular, <laughs> if that makes sense. Very much Samantha Jones. I will actually link to a few that I saw on Poshmark. So yeah, friends, that's what I got. I told you I didn't get a whole bunch of things. That's, that's not really how I shop. I don't buy like bulk things, but when I find something that I like, I get it. I love it. <laughs> I wear it. What would a Sipakura video be without a few things that I found this week? Here are a few things, not as many as usual, but here are a few things that I found that I wanted to share with you. Okay, so let's start off strong with this Jack Moose clutch. We have all seen it in that beautiful silver color that all the girls were wearing. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I was looking to get it in silver. I even went to Paris to look for it. Well, I didn't go to Paris to look for it. <laughs> but whilst I was in Paris, I did look for it and it was not there. It was sold out everywhere. So here I am minding my business and this pops into my email. You guys, how do you feel about it in black and in cream? The good thing about this is that it is in leather. It's actually in leather as opposed to whatever that silver stuff was. <laughs> this is a better material. It is still quite expensive, but I do feel better that it is leather. I am strongly thinking about one of these purses. The problem is, do you think everybody will have it and then I will just continue to look like a clone like everyone else? <laughs> Or are people sick of it and I could just buy it just because I love it? Let me know what you think. So I've been going back and forth between this bag from Cause and that Anthropology um, Bottega dupe bag. They are both gorgeous and beautiful. The one from Anthropology is cheaper than this, about $70 cheaper. However, it is not leather. This one is 100% leather and kind of cushiony. I love how big it is. I love the knot. It's like a Bottega dupe without trying to be an exact dupe. Um, but like I said, it is more expensive but I believe it might be a better quality I don't know I've been going back and forth let me know what your thoughts are on this if you like this better or if you like the anthropology um, option better so this is giving me early 2000 vibes I can see like Samantha Jones carrying this from Sex in the City I can see Joan Clayton wearing this on girlfriends it's very much giving me early 2000s of course it is black and beige when I'm showing you but it also comes in different colors oh so gorgeous I would also urge you to go check out Amy Shehab on social media this purse 
is spectacular for traveling. She shows you much better than I am here um, about this purse. In my opinion, it rivals the YSL eye care bag, um, but at a cheaper price point. I'm not quite sure how much it costs because it hasn't come out yet the day that I'm talking about this. In fact, it comes out the day before this video goes up, so hopefully there's more left when it goes up. But this is gorgeous. It's a hundred percent leather. There's two different sizes. Like I said, go check her socials out because she does a much better job of showcasing this purse than I have. So I am very into the vintage type of big earrings right now, like a lot of us are. And these from Oma the Label are fantastic. If you've been with me for a while, you know that I cannot wear earrings that are not at least silver or um, gold plated because I have very sensitive ears. And these from Oma the Label are gold plated. They come in silver and in gold. And as much as I love the silver and as much as it's trending, the gold ones may be calling my name. I haven't made up my mind yet because I have a, I have a lot of gold. So I'm might not need more but this is I think these are just absolutely gorgeous this is inexpensive and such a statement maker it's from ASOS it comes in gold and silver it's only $14 I'm gonna tell you I already got the gold <laughs> because when I was looking the silver is sold out as I'm recording this right now you hear my voice both are in stock so hopefully they will be in stock when this video goes up but yes I feel like it's such a beautiful statement for now and actually for the spring and summer months I have shown you this bag before from J crew but I don't think that I've showed you in this iteration I love that it's patent leather I love that it's a little crinkly you see how it's how she's holding it and it's not perfect I love that it's not perfect I love this color with the green and the gold I think it is just chef's kiss and I think it's a great neutral without it being black especially again for the spring and summer when you might want something a little lighter I feel like it's good for work because it holds a ton it's a bucket bag so you could put everything in there right now my mind and shopping has been going to spring and summer I feel like this is a great option so this is also new in the Jack and Moose drop with the other purse that I showed you and I also showed you the iteration of these in a different video right I think I showed you the linen, the linen pair and I also showed you the denim pair but because leopard is having such a moment of course they had to put it in leopard with a kitten here so I just think these two are just some decent dupes. These boots from Anthropology are very much giving me Kate dupe vibes. No, they are not exactly the same as the Kates, but the Kates are expensive. I know that. And if you want to just get a feel for them or have a low kind of cowboy s type of heel, this is a good option. And then this jacket is giving me very much YSL vibes. It is nowhere near as close to the price, but it is very similar in look. I'm not gonna lie to you, the YSL one is definitely better in my opinion, <laughs> but it's also way more expensive. This is a great find. I recently discovered last week that I don't have any belts. Because I haven't been wearing belts um, for a while now, <laughs> because things were f weren't fitting, um, I realized that I need some belts. So I was looking on the Heaven Mayhem site, and they have some beautiful belts. But I also ran across this, ran into this one um, while shopping on Anthropology, and I think this is a great find. I love gold and black together. I do think they have it in white and silver. Um, of course, I will link it if you prefer the silver or the white version. But yeah, I think this is really cute and I can't wait to buy this because I really think I'm going to be buying this soon. And this is just a great dupe for the row half moon shoulder bag for a much cheaper price. Now I told you all last week that I had some good stuff. I didn't realize it was so many accessories, <laughs> bags and purses and, and jewelry and all this. I didn't realize that. That. but these are great finds let me know what you think I found some really cute things this week some of them are Valentine's Day themed and some of them are not but of course as soon as I found them I bookmarked them on my computer just so that I can show you what I found <music>
time I travel, I'm trying to figure out how to travel with my fragrances. I've never traveled and just bought just one with me. <laughs> I need options. So when I saw this little travel case specifically for fragrances at K.R. Lee, I thought that it was the perfect way to um, bring all my options with me. It's such a cute little color. It's very convenient. And this way you ensure that your fragrances don't get broken. I thought this was a great idea. So like I said, it's Valentine's Day, it's the Super Bowl, and it is Black history. So in this video, I wanted to highlight someone who I feel like is a very important figure and role in fashion, has played a huge part in diversity, and I feel is just a powerhouse in the industry. If you don't know or you have never heard of Beth Ann Hardison, let me let you into her beautiful world. So if you watched my video from last Fashion Week, you saw that I talked about some of the most iconic fashion shows of all time. And one of those shows was the Battle of Versailles, where the American designers and European designers had a quote unquote battle <laughs> to see who the best designers were. Ultimately, Americans brought home the victory, but many attribute part of their victory to the black models that walked in the show. Some of those black models were Pat Cleveland, Billy Blair, Alva Chin, and Beth Ann Hardison. If you haven't seen that video I did, go check it out. I will leave it in the description box. It was a great video and such a fun watch. That fashion show was a mere stepping stone for Miss Hardison on her way to not only do more modeling, but to change the fashion world. After the Battle of Versailles, Miss Hardison really came into her own. She even started to run Stephen Burroughs studio. That's when she started to go from model to businesswoman. She became the creative director for many fashion houses and was extremely successful at all of them. Eventually in 1980, she ended up working at Click Models. That's when she helped to revolutionize the modeling agency. She represented a young Whitney Houston, which I think is such an amazing thing. Imagine representing Whitney Houston and that being something to put on your resume. Amazing. Unlike other modeling agencies like Ford and Wilhelmina, who really set the blue-eyed blonde hair standard for models in the industry, Click redefined the image of beauty and in fashion models. Click was known for exotic beauties and different looking models. But with all that knowledge and drive and, and information, four years later, Miss Hardison started her namesake management company, where she continued her work with challenging beauty standards. She had Black, Latin, and Asian models. She signed models like Tyson Beckford, Veronica Webb, and Kimora Lee Simmons. And yes, her management roster also included her son, Kadeem Hardison. Yep, Dwayne Wayne from A Different World. So Miss Hardison was not only a model, then she was a businesswoman and a mother, she also was an activist. Ms. Hardison co-founded the Black Girl Coalition with Iman, with members including Naomi Campbell, Veronica Webb, Cynthia Bailey, and so many more. These women were a group of women that were devoted to supporting advocacy for Black models, raising issues for homelessness to racism in the industry. And listen, I don't want to give too much away about Ms. Hardison because I really prefer that you watch her documentary called Invisible Beauty, where it really gets more into depth into what she actually did for the industry. But let's just say she is a powerhouse in the industry that really has helped to make the runways a little more colorful. Please go watch it. I didn't give much information on purpose because I would love for this documentary to be a great success. It's called Invisible Beauty. It's on Prime, Hulu, and I believe Apple TV. You will not be disappointed if you love fashion, if you love 
history, and if you love powerful women. I, I know there is a love-hate relationship with Fashion Week and Fashion Month, but I always just get so excited. I love everything that comes out of it. Child, I know it's only been two weeks, but did I waste my money on this red light mask? <laughs> I know I have to use it. I know a few of you have it and you said you love it, so I'm always gonna keep using it. But I did wanna show you simply because I said I was gonna do it every two weeks. Which shoe should I keep, the light brown, beige, or the black? I don't need both. Or should I return both and get the mustard? <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. And have you ever heard of Beth Han Artisan? She's definitely one of my faves and one of the people in the industry that I actually look up to. Anyway, you guys, as usual, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you in my next video.